What's up, yellow bunnies? It's your girl, Ash. Checking in on the camera with a new mother freaking video. And today I'm here with a seafood mukbang story time on how I found out I was pregnant. So if you So if you're ready to sit back and listen and enjoy the video, make sure you stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe, and join the family. Press that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And if you're ready, let's get into the video. I have that good old rice. Y'all, it's cold. It ain't cold, but it's warm. I, don't know. I got rice, y'all. I like this rice with my seafood. Yeah, they need to put my sauce in here. They need to put it on the side. And then I have double or oh, triple corn. No nasty potatoes. And my sauce on the side. Okay, y'all. So my birthday is November the 7th at the end of the month. And I mean, not at the end of the month. At the end of the year. It's my birthday, which is November the 7th. And I was at work. And I thought, I thought my period came on. Well, cycle. I don't know what y'all want me to say. I thought my little cycle came on. And I was really mad because I had birthday plans. Like, who on a cycle? when I got birthday plans. So, this is when I was at work. So actually it was before my birthday. My birthday, November 7th. So it was a few days before my birthday when I thought that happened. And it didn't. So then I was like, I ain't think none of it, honestly. I was like, dang, that came and went fast. Like, I never had a period that fast. So I really didn't think nothing of it because I've never been pregnant so I wouldn't know what I'm supposed to expect. So I was wondering about my day after that. But I did tell my friend, I was like, man, my period came on right before my birthday plan. I'm so mad. Yeah, I don't talk about how I'm eating my seafood. But, um, I was pretty mad, but then when it went off, I was happy. So then, I went out of town that weekend, went to Biloxi, with my little yeah, with my little yeah, yeah. Y'all, this is so good. Y'all can try it. But I went out of town, and then... I still didn't have no period, but I didn't think I didn't think of it. So I really kind of thought that was my period that I had. But just kind of short, but then at the same time I was still kind of worried. So I didn't have a cycle the whole time. I was in Biloxi. But that was for only for the weekend. So, then I made another trip with me and my little year. <laughs> and we went to Texas. That was that. Uh, if you support me and watch my channel, I did a wreck leaving from Texas in 2020, which was when I found out I was pregnant. Well, I found out I was pregnant the day before that. But that's for the end of the story. But. Where was it? Oh yeah. So then, after I left Biloxi, 
the next weekend, I went to Dallas where my best friend lived. And we were there for a week. And I kind of think that was when my cycle was actually supposed to come, which is why I was surprised for my birthday. Like, that's kind of early for my cycle to come on. It's kind of weird. But then, yeah, I waited that whole week just to see and make sure. I waited that whole week just to see if my cycle was going to come on or not when it was supposed to. But. Nothing ever came. So. I was kind of like joking with my little joint. And I was like. I'm. And then I'll rub on my stomach like. Like I was frigo. But in all honesty I was joking. I, I didn't know it was real. That I was actually pregnant. So. I was kind of. Telling my friends like. I don't know. My cycle had not came on. And we've been here for a whole week. And they're to come on on Monday. We went there on a, a Friday or a Saturday and it was supposed to come on that Monday so I waited the whole full week and still nothing so I was telling my friends like I kind of think I'm prego but if I am this way out the whole time y'all I'm not even knowing I'm pregnant. But I guess I was just having that feeling that I was. Telling people I think I am. Yeah. So I procrastinated that whole time that we was up in Texas. But my y'all, the whole time I was having hard nipples. And uh but I didn't think none of it. I was I was actually searching stuff. Like when I started missing my period cycle or whatever. Um I was start searching up stuff like scared, like oh my gosh. Like I'm having this symptom, I'm having this symptom. Like this could actually be me being pregnant. But I still had a doubt about it because I was like, can't be. Especially with that little cycle I had. But then when I looked up, it was like that that little cycle that I said I had, it was like that's a symptom of being pregnant. So I, I was like, oh me, oh my. I didn't know that was a symptom. So I looked that up, but I was still like, nah, it can't be true. It's only a possibility. So, what happened? Oh, yeah, I was procrastinating the whole time. I was hanging out with my best friend. And I had went and got a test, like, finally, a day before I took the test, I went and got it. I was supposed to take it that night. But then I looked on the site. Y'all know we all listen to the internet. So, I looked on the internet and saw that you're supposed to take a pregnancy test in the morning because... Your urine is more accurate in the morning. Your first first urine of the day is most accurate. So I waited till the next morning. Finally, I procrastinated for a full week. After procrastinating for a full week. Oh y'all mind y'all after I told my little junk that I think I may be, you know, loving on my stomach. <laughs> I kinda so my friend took me to the store, he went with me when they took me. So I was just keeping quiet, not telling him. 
that I had a pregnancy test, but I still didn't know I was pregnant at the time. So, yeah, so when we got back to the hotel, I was definitely hiding the test from him. I had it up in my little bag. And I kept on saying, don't look in this bag. Don't look in this bag. When I say don't look in this bag, don't look in this bag. Hiding it from him because it was like, what if I'm going to be prego when I'm doing all this? Embarrassing. So, of course, I didn't tell him. But I was just telling my friends, like, y'all, I may be. Um, oh, I told my friends. I told one, one of my cousins that I may be. My best friend did believe me, but yeah, she was the one that took me to get the test. And my other friend, she believed me. But they was just like, go ahead and take the test, go ahead and take it. And I'm just sitting there like, nah, y'all, yeah, because that, that's a, definitely a scary moment for sure. Because you don't know if it's going to go right or wrong. So that was one and then for two. Just scared, like how if I am pregnant, how the baby gonna come out of me? But yeah, so procrastinating, not telling him. Woke up the next morning, and yeah, I had seafood in a long time. I took my bag in the bathroom and pulled it out. And then I took the test, but then I left out the bathroom, like super duper scared. Like I ain't let him know or nothing. I just left him sitting up there, and I walked back in the room, like everything was normal. Because, like I said, who want to be embarrassed? Like telling somebody that may be pregnant. Ain't not ain't doing all this. So I, at least I had some friends to tell. And my best friend, y'all know she already knew. She was cursing me to be the first one to get pregnant. That's why I'm cursing her to be pregnant. But um, took the test, left it sitting on the counter for the little three minutes, y'all. I don't even think I went in there in three minutes. Too scared to look. Cause like I said, I was having a lot of symptoms that was online. <laughs> online, don't tell the truth about everything, but they tell the truth about some pregnancy symptoms. For sure. So, I went in there, looked at the test, saw two freaking lines, y'all. Two lines. I was most definitely in shock. Didn't know what to do, didn't know what to say. Had to get my life together. In a matter of five seconds. Like, it was definitely shocking. And the crazy thing is, like, I had no intention that this was, this was coming at all. Like, not at all. Like, wasn't planned. Like, you know how some people plan their kids. No. Wasn't planned at all. Definitely shocking for both of us. And I just had to get my mind right, like, real fast. But at the same time, I was happy. Because... I wanted a kid. I mean... Clearly... If it wasn't the right time, she wouldn't have been here, my baby girl. And she definitely came at the right time. She came in my life when I was at my lowest, so down sad. And yeah, she definitely makes my day better every day. She definitely came at the right time.
I hate breaking crab legs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so um after that, this is the day before the day yeah, the day before we left Texas. This is the morning we got up. About to get up in DoorDash. Cause we know we were leaving. That next day. So. Of course. I told my best friend. That I was prego. And. Y'all, just to make sure, because y'all know how stuff be going. I um I booked an appointment with a with some type of free clinic. Because I did have insurance, but you had to still pay if you went to the doctor with insurance. So I just went to a free clinic. And they basically just gave me another pregnancy test to make sure. And what else they do? I think they just gave me another. They gave me another pregnancy test, and then they gave me my estimated delivery date, which was June twenty second. But it wasn't correct. Once I went to my actual doctor, they told me. My due date when I went to my doctor was, well, the first doctor I went to told me that they was going to go off of what the people at the, at the clinic said. But when I went to my second doctor, they said my baby was going to be due on July 13th, which was yesterday. My baby was actually born on July 9th of 2021. So yes, I have a one year old. Y'all will see her soon on the channel. We have videos recorded for y'all. Um, but back to my story. Yeah, so don't worry about that. Went to the clinic. She told me I was pregnant for sure. Estimated date. Tell me what to expect. As in emotion, depression, um, change of mood swings, like everything. Now they were gonna actually do my first ultrasound, but I ended up not going back. <coughs> Because of that big wreck. So couldn't go back there. So had to find me another doctor. So that was that. So that's what the first person I called was Jade, I think. But I told Ayana and I told my cousin. And I told my other cousin, my girl Jariah, that y'all seen on my channel. But y'all, after I found out I was pregnant, we linked up. We linked up with my best friend and her little junk. And went to Olive Garden because I was crazy in Olive Garden. Y'all, the whole time I was in Texas, I was craving freaking plain Lay's. I would have them every day. Like, straight plain Lay's. In the yellow pack. That was my everyday meal. Y'all, also another craving was, like, <laughs> being hungry, y'all. That's another way I found out. Y'all, uh, the way my life was going before I was pregnant, I wasn't barely eating. And I was definitely losing a lot of weight. 
But still to this day, I didn't think nothing about how I was just eating more than I usually eat. I was like, want to go get food. Like, I used to then go get food on my breaks. I would just, like, go to the gas station and get a dead red or get some candy. But then I start eating more. But I didn't realize that until after I found out I was pregnant, I was eating more. Yeah, so that was another symptom. Eating more. If you find yourself getting an appetite after you ain't had an appetite in a while, that's definitely another symptom. So the symptoms I had was hard breast, eating more. What else? No cycle, for sure. Um... And then we did get in that wreck when I stayed on my story time. Uh, I threw up. I just didn't stay wide. But now I can stay wide. I threw up because I was prego and I was paranoid. But that was the only time I did throw up. I ain't throw up no other time and I'm glad. Because they say, most people say when you have a girl, you do a lot of throwing up. I'm so happy that wasn't me. I'm happy. I had kind of like a smooth pregnancy except the heartburn every night. So if y'all got heartburn, all y'all need to do is eat some fruit. It'll help a little bit. I used to eat a banana once I found out fruit helped. It helped, I guess, but... Y'all, yeah, it's so crazy how the day after I found out I was pregnant, we get into a big old wreck. I'm so happy my baby came out safe, healthy, fine. Because getting in a wreck with a baby, and it wasn't an easy wreck. I was definitely in pain. But I'm just happy, blessed. My daughter's healthy and great. Y'all gonna be seeing her on the channel, like I said. We got bangers coming out for y'all, so just stay tuned. Come in more video ideas y'all want to see down below. Come in down some mommy daughter videos y'all want to see. Just come in stuff y'all really want to see on the channel. And I'm going to try my best to get it out for y'all. Because I'm going to be consistent as possible. I want to try to at least post four, four videos a week. Yeah, I did not finish that. And their rice was not good today. So I just want y'all to just stay with me. I'm going to get consistent. And I just want y'all to keep like, coming, and subscribing. And send others over here to subscribe too. Because we're going to get lit. So... Yeah, that was the end of how I found out I was pregnant. Basically, the symptoms. And then I'm going to do another story time on how everybody in my family found out and my friends, especially my mama. That was a crazy way. So, let me know if I should do just a story time or if y'all want to see a mukbang and what food y'all want to see me do a mukbang to. I really like doing mukbangs for y'all. But I wasn't really feeling that seafood today. I tried my best to eat it today, but I really wasn't feeling it. And yellow bunnies, we're going to end the video off here. And as we always say, yellow bunnies, we're out. Peace. A town down and we out of here.